Hello pessoal, my name is André and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, in case you haven't seen my last video, uh, I had to, well I didn't have to, <laughs> but I restarted uh, the game because Clay released an update that changes, um, well it adds uh, the same mechanic to more planets which is the meteor showers, okay? Uh, I think there were only like one or two planets in which you had meteor showers, so um, for all other planets, just there's normal gameplay. But they added the meteor showers to, and I'm going to say this without certainty, I think they added to most planets. So I will have in this planet a meteor shower. That means I have to protect the rockets, I have to protect everything that I have uh, on, on, the, um, on the surface. Um, which is which changes the normal gameplay of this game. So that's why I uh, decided to actually uh, restart the playthrough. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I just let the game run for probably half a cycle. I just made more platforms, uh, more dig orders, and we're gonna have. But I we have somebody. Oh, they all have skills. So. You are uh, my researcher, right? So let's do you, uh, let's put the advanced research thing. Isabel, now, I want them to be able to dig harder things. So let's put uh, the focus on digging. And this little guy will do the same thing. So digging as well, okay? Um, which means that uh, most, not ever, I was gonna say everything, but no, most of them, uh, are actually uh, unlocked. So, uh, one of the ways in which you can see which tier needs to be unlocked to be able to dig something is by this diamond shape thing on the next to the shovel. So, uh, with only a shovel, any duplicate, or you don't need any skills to actually dig. If it has one diamond, that means that you need tier one. If it has two diamonds, I don't know where you have that, it's only three, but you have two diamonds somewhere you probably need tier two and if you have three you need tier three unless this is just tier two but uh, super duper hard so let's go check it out yeah see that super hard super duper hard so tier two which is all not here at the moment has two uh diamond thingies and that's it uh so they will be able to uh dig most of the things uh, okay, we're leveling this. So, these first few play, uh, gameplays will be mainly focused on learning or understanding... Um, uh, sorry, discovering uh, the planet. Um, and we have temperature-wise, we are okay-ish. I'd like to know what this is, uh, but obviously... Oh, uh, but I... Let's set this as an eight. Uh, okay, we need, let's make, uh, let's start making rooms, okay? Uh, and let's start by doing something like there, there. Uh, we're gonna have wash basins. Where are you? That's medicine, right? <coughs> wash basin uh, on each end. And then let's do outhouses. Yeah, just spam them through there. Uh, and let's set this. Let's do construction. A tongue. There you go. Okay. That way they're going to make this. Uh, okay, if you're wondering why I'm doing like that. So basically, obviously you probably know this. But the, the wash basin means that they need to wash their hands when they go through. Now, you can pick the direction in which they have to wash their hands when they go through. Uh, what I usually do is I have one wash basin in, in in the entrance or in both entrances of the room, and then uh, if they get in or sorry if they get out from one end or the other, they'll just wash their hands. So I think it's kind of a common practice in in this game. So. I have a mod, by the way, just in case uh, you might see things. Uh, let me just because you might get uh, you might look at this and go, okay. If one duplicate is using that, will it not? Will the second duplicate go by without washing his hands? But 
I have a mod called uh, Q for Sinks. And basically what it does is um, it forces the duplicants to get in a queue when there's uh, sinks. So if one duplicant goes by and washes his hands and the second duplicant goes and wants to wash, wash his hands and it's occupied, he'll wait until the other duplicate get out, gets out and he'll wash his hands next. Now, is that efficient? No, but it guarantees that your all duplicates will have their wa their hands washed. And that's the most important thing. Okay. Copy settings, probably. Okay, Tunga. And then, then, then. Make the other thing. Boomba. Okay, nice. Let's set this to there. So, see that the direction of the wash basin says if you're going that way. And you have more than X amount of germs. Wash your hands, please. See that? Okay, let's go check. See that? What happened? Let's check Isabel. So Isabel uh, probably doesn't have enough germs to actually require uh, washing her hands. Uh, germs. Okay, so she has... Uh, it doesn't say. Huh, Kajiro. It doesn't say how many germs... Maybe I'm just not looking at this at the where I should cut it. But hey. Health, bladder, stamina, calories, body, quiz, no say okay, sleeping. Okay, so we have nothing here. If we go to bio, nothing, of course. Skills, properties. Okay, I'm not seeing anything here at the moment. Uh okay, uh let's check Andre, for example. No surface germs. Was that it? Food poisoning. One germ. Maybe it was this. So one germs means that... Okay, no surface germs. So that's why probably she didn't uh, wash her hands. Okay. So, oh. Okay. We are running out of uh, free oxygen. So, let's uh, start making oxygen. Uh, wires, power... I always get excited at the first stages of this game, discovering new things. Not that it's not great to do the game, I, I've been actually playing this game almost non-stop for a couple of years, uh, and I've always enjoyed it. Um, but the first stages of the game are, also, are always amazing. Learning how the planet is and stuff, it's amazing. What's that? Abyssalite, okay. So, uh, I want to... Let's prioritize a few things, shall we? Uh, I want to prioritize this. And then this. The reason I want to do that is very simple. I want to see what we have above. Okay, I want to discover things on this planet. Uh, and we can just... Do that. Beautiful. Iron ore. Oh, we have people. Coal generator and wood burner. Okay, now. Energy. Uh, there are two ways in which you can produce. Nah, let's see if I can, if I don't. Uh, oh. Yes. Yes. So this is infinite energy. Okay. Uh, and it's kind of close to my base. Beautiful. So. There's a catch, though. This is a 150. Yeah. Natural gas at 150. Well, it is what it is. So, energy. There are two ways in which you can store energy. You can store energy loosely. So, uh, the system will produce energy um, until it's... Uh, until um, the... The, um, ah, the system will produce energy until the fuel that you're using to make energy runs out. Okay, that's the most inefficient way to make energy. Or you can uh, actually um, have a smart battery where it sends a, an automated signal or it sends a signal uh, that specifies when it reaches a certain, uh, a certain threshold. Okay, and that's the most efficient way in which you can actually make energy on this game. So the way I'm going to do that is so much alligator. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to have to I'm going to I'm going 
I'm going to have to research the smart battery. Now, the smart battery has one enormous problem. It needs refined metal to actually be built. Okay, that's the, 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 the issue with it. Okay, now we have access to lead. So you can make it out of lead. Okay, unfortunately, if I'm not mistaken, the lead is surrounded by a bisolite, which requires level three tier digging, which sucks, but it is what it is. So uh, let's start with, for instance, the thing that we need, which is automation. Um, so we need automation. So the, these things to make the batteries. Ah, let's see what we have. Okay, we have, they're all not looking great. Uh, decreased machinery, athletics now, decreased, gains morning attribute bonuses. Morning, plus two bonus to all attributes, duration, five scheduled blocks. This is new. Now, this guy is a master builder, right? Um, that's his interest. Unfortunately, I don't like duplicates that only have one interest because uh, I want them to be able to make several things, therefore gaining the morale from all of those things. And I think they get, let's see if I'm right. When they do things that they are interested in, they get a three uh, morale bonus. Um, interest, and also, ooh, interested skills learned, plus one. Oh, but if you have more than one skill, uh, one interest, it's one per, one per interest. My camera shifts a bit, and I apologize for that, because it's in a wobbly thing. I need to fix that one of these things. So, uh, should I get the construction guy? That's a good question. Okay, he has a plus two to all attributes in the morning. Okay, let's get this guy. You're gonna be number... Uh, we're missing one name, which is Louisa. Since he's not Louisa, he's gonna be number four. There you go. Now, if you're wondering why do I number my duplicates, it's much easier to know. Okay, number 17 has this thing than... Nimbzik something has this thing. I don't remember names. I do remember numbers. So, except the four names that I use in all of my uh, Oxygen included games. Uh, okay, uh, let's just do. Okay, now I'm going to start giving my duplicates more priorities. Okay, I'm going to start to um, fine tune the priorities to fit the duplicate. Okay, so let's go to priorities and. Okay, let's first give the skill to this guy. Uh, let's give him a builder skill. There you go. And let's say something like uh, uh, priorities. Here's what I want. Now, I usually do one thing that's, uh, that to me is simple. Those who build also dig. And there's a very simple reason for that. You build a lot of ladders, okay? And... Let's take a look at this specific scenario. You have both building and digging uh, here. What will happen if, if I have two of these things, right? Look, look at this. So we have a building on the right and a building on the left. The guy that has a priority on building will will uh, build one ladder here. And then he'll, ha he'll have to dig in order to get to the next uh, building um, availability. But he also has one ladder to be built already here. So he'll stop doing that, go all the way down, go through here, go through there and start building here. At the same time, diggers will go here and dig. And then eventually they'll have to build. Their building tier, their, their building priority is lower, right? So they'll stop digging. They have to build. So but they have the they they have digging options here so they'll stop digging there go all the way down and start digging there so they will be shifting tasks just because you have a digging and the building set differently okay uh, i think the game should kind of 
probably does. I've done this since the beginning of the game. Uh, but I don't know if, if you guys know that. So if you have a duplicate that has uh, uh, different priorities very close to each other. So one high and one normal, for instance. For building and digging. And he comes across this scenario. Will he stop building to go build somewhere else? Until he has something to build here. Or will he, since he's very close to the digging site and the digging priority is very close to the building one, he'll do both. Okay? If you know, please let me know. Uh, okay, let's... Ah, priorities. So, uh, let's say uh, that Lukas, Isabel, and number four, that... Oh, it doesn't have the hat just yet. Uh, are all going to be um, builders and diggers, right? So let's do that, 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 that. Andre is uh, the researcher. Okay, we also need to, and I'm going to fine tune this as you can see. Uh, as you can see, I've been looking at the light of my camera, so I can't distinguish it very well. But if uh, the reason I have everything to super low is that that I can then fine tune the pinkish square. So, for instance, Andre, uh, sorry, Isabel, has. Uh, a uh, machinery skill of three, right? So I can bump it up just a little bit. Okay, so since she has uh, an operating skill that's a little bit higher than everything else, if she has to decide which things she'll do, she'll go first to those things that she's more skilled at than the rest. Does that make sense? And I'm going to do the same thing for the other ones. I think this guy, okay. Let's uh, see. No, but I, okay, maximum, maximum. Okay, you, so Andre has, okay, let's set to building. Okay, he's pinkish, and I can't see anything else. So I'm assuming, because if I stare to the camera, there's a ring light, and then I look at this, and I, very, very subtle pinkish colors. I can't, uh, I, it's very difficult for me to actually distinguish them from white. Uh, let's set the priority of this to seven. Okay. Uh, oh, one thing that I try to do is... Okay, let's look at this. So, we have farming as that. Let's do farming as standard. And I'm going to set... Where are you? T is it tidying? Uh, empty storage, disinfect, clean outhouse. Okay, let's do tidying as standard as well. So, uh, we need to... Be there are there are uh, okay. There are certain buildings that actually need to. Um, oh, that's a problem. Let's do operating. Uh, but I do have an operator. Uh, operating. Uh, I'm going to do so. Isabel. Okay, Isabel for the time being will be uh, more allocated. See that she's going to go into um, yeah. Provide energy, otherwise they won't work properly. Okay, I want to make this happen. Okay, we're checking things out. Um, I was looking at my mobile phone because I got a few uh, comments. So, I was just checking it out. Oh, by the way, guys, the usual thing, let me just... Uh, I have... Let me just confirm. Uh -huh. Okay, I have very recently, and thank you for that, I have very recently surpassed the 1,350 subscribers. I am actually looking at 1,358, but that number fluctuates, so it's 1,350. Guys, thank you very much. Uh, okay. We're done. What's... Oh, another one. Okay. Nice. I like that. Okay, let's... Grab that. Research complete. What do we have? Flower pot, lamp, and ceiling light. Okay. Uh, we can actually do one thing. So, I'm, I'm saying this as... Those who are most likely watching me already know this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, if you have a duplicate that's working under uh, on, a, on an illuminated environment, 
he'll gain a 15% uh, speed on, uh, on what he's doing. Uh, so I want the energy production to be 15% uh, more efficient. But if I have a ceiling light there at all times, I'm going to spend 10 watts constantly so that the duplicate will spend 15% less time uh, on the wheel. That's probably not efficient, so I'm going to leave it there. I could, however... What do we have there? No. Okay, I can grab... So, is none of this is rotting. Okay, curative tablet. We are kind of running out of food. No, let's let's put this. Um, here. Um, well, I don't need to have time for that. Uh, let's remove that. I want to have the. Um, uh, the ration box will be on um, in uh, a sterile environment. Carbon dioxide is a sterile environment for food. Uh, that way I can move the wheel to here. And I can deactivate this wheel and say, make this. Okay. And hopefully somebody will make that happen. And the wheel should be... So, let's see if I can show you guys this. So this guy, or this guy, lit workspace, right? So lit workspace, 15% speed. So she's 15% faster at making energy than everything, than if it, it wasn't illuminated. Okay, I need to eventually start grabbing the shine bug eggs uh, because we need to farm them. Um, let's just bump this up to here and collect that. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, this is the main. I gotta come here. Now, obviously, at this particular moment, harnessing this energy is gonna be, or this gas is going to be a little bit of an issue, but at least we have that all i need to find now is the water and the game will be almost immediate what are you doing here Sprint. charcoal diagonal a sleek wallpaper with a diagonal stripe oh thank you Ooh, i wonder if i can actually but hey can i change the beds if I grab a bed... Ah, Gajiru! Oh, I'm gonna switch this. They all they have all the same effects, right? Oh, yeah. We are definitely gonna change their beds. <laughs> okay, this is actually interesting. I'm going to start making this. <laughs> I'm not actually... Uh, um, I'm not exactly... Um, a guy that actually you know, really likes these things, but uh, I've been playing this game for so long that this is actually very interesting. It's very, it's just different. I like it. I wouldn't go, I think, as far to actually pay for this, to be honest, uh, because it has zero effect o on the game. But, um, but uh, since it's free, I'll just use it. Gajiru. It has little shells and stuff. <laughs> I like it. Okay, very, very good. Now, how are we in terms of oxygen? Uh, I need to. T I need to be very careful with that. Okay, good. Research complete. Automation overlay, single switch, automation wire, automation. Okay, we have some automation capabilities, uh, which is very good. Now we need to uh, access. Uh, the battery now to to actually make the battery we need uh, the supercomputer Which is this thing here? Uh, so uh, Where's the battery by the way? Energy Okay, it's there see that we need both so let's go and do um, That 
they should actually implement the the research queue on the game. It's an extremely uh -oh. nice. It's an egg. Oh, what do we get? Outdoor renovations. Construct open. Have at least one toilet in the colony and a bed for every duplicate. Construct a building outside the initial starting biome. Sure. Okay. okay. Bomb lilies. Okay. okay. What's that? Sandstone. Polluted water. Okay. More oxygen. Very, very good. Now, you guys could actually... Can you just move here and actually have... You could both make the same thing, right? That way, you're both working to reach the same goal in a direction at least there we go okay, i want to see if we have something here that's interesting okay the la hmm okay this is coal it's very very okay we shouldn't have access to anything specific around here okay um very very good Uta. Another colony achievement earned. Good egg. Hatch a new creator more from an egg. I don't know which creator we actually got, but uh, something happened. Okay. Oh, please. Okay. I want to see if I can see what's here. I'm not sure if they're going to do that. In. Oh, by the way, but 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 schedule. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Now regarding schedules, I have a very specific thing that I usually do, which is I don't use the bath time. See that bath time thing? I don't use that. Uh, the reason I don't do that is because if duplicates, the bath time is only to go to take a bath or to go to the toilet. If they have not, they if they don't have that thing available at the moment, they'll go to work. If at the same, if before that shift ends, they gain access to the toilet or to the bathroom or to the showers, they will stop doing what they're doing and they'll go back to the showers. If that time then stops, they'll go back to work. So it's a back and forth thing that I don't like to do. If you just give them downtime, they want to, they take showers, they go to the toilet whenever they don't do anything related to work during that shift. So I like to actually. Então, aqui. Um, um dois, três. One. Oh, they do. Okay, let's do it the other way. Uh, Pumba. And then do. And let's do that. And we're going to move number four. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. So, the, 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 the morning trait uh, is actually much better than the night one, apparently. Research complete, advanced research. Fantastic. Okay, so we have the ability to make a supercomputer. Uh, let's go with this. Uh, it's going to complain. You need a supercomputer. That missing research station. Supercomputer. Okay, done. So. Uh, Okay, we're gonna have to switch this. So, turn this on, deconstruct this. Ah, Kajido. <laughs> Let's uh, put this. Oh, and it fits. Amazing. Deconstruct that. Uh, this is not gonna fit in the supercomputer. There, number four. But hey, where are you? Why are you here? Schedule. Oh, you're the morning guy. Okay, so you're gonna get. Let's see if something happens. Early bird. Okay, so you should be faster, which is amazing. But since everybody's just not doing anything. Let's do station, supercomputer, and just place it there. Remember. Wire, she's a wire. I'll just do 
Okay. Uh, let's set this to all. Seven. Uh, done. Okay, so if you go here, she, uh, he's in a lit workspace. If he goes to this side, he's going to be in a lit workspace as well. Which is beautiful. Okay, uh, we have water here. Where's lead? Okay, we have lead there and lead there. Just 100 kilograms. Uh, not great. Okay, let's see if I can find metal. Okay, copper ore. Let's see if I find gold amalgam, gold amalgam. Okay, there's no uh, refined metal except lead. Uh, nor iron. Opa, not yet. Nor iron. Okay, so this is lead. How's the. Yeah. It doesn't have a lot of radiation, so. Okay, whoa, what's that? Oh, I'm gonna find out. I thought, no. That means that it's probably a geyser, a salt. It's probably the salt geyser thingy. Um, I think. Guys, I'm going to leave the... Okay. That's new. Whoa. Story trait, ancient specimen. Oh, nice. I've discovered a fossilized critter buried in my colony, at least part of one, but it does not resemble any of the species we have encountered on this asteroid. Where did it come from? How did it get here? And what other questions might those bones hold the answer to? There is only one way to find out. Beautiful! So, frozen, okay. Nice. Oh, what a great way to... Oh, we have sleet wheat. This is amazing. You guys have no idea. This makes me really happy. So, we have frozen fossil and sleet wheat there, which is beautiful. Uh, and it was amazing that once I was going to say, okay, we're going to have to end the video and just boom. <laughs> amazing. Guys, I'm going to finish uh, the video. 32 minutes beautiful uh and we're gonna have to continue discovering uh you know the planet uh thing uh this is a gigantic hola i don't think this is was supposed to happen what's that petrified fossil oh i think these are all the fossils Alien specimen fossil. Oh, I think this is actually uh, a bug. Because I discovered one. Um, dois, três, quatro. We have one there. That's two here. That's three there. And it's probably four. The fourth one is probably inside of this thing here. Oh, this is the... Uh, okay, this is the... the Cold one. I think this is the same planet, uh, right? So, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave the game here, as I've said. Uh, we have a duplicate. Should we welcome the duplicate? Uh, we already have one. Uh, dirt, suit, op suit wearing and operating, rocketry. Yeah. Um, increased husband. Oh, this is good. This is good. I think I'm going to grab Ada. Balloon artist. Yeah, let's let's bring Louisa. Do I do I already have Louisa? I don't, right? Louisa look at Okay. So guys, amazing way to finish the game. We found a new pre 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 schedule. 1 2 3 4. So four per schedule. Okay. So we found fossils. Uh, which is amazing. I'm going to be right after this uh, to the game to make it a video. Uh, let's see uh, how we can get there. And that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little gameplay. And as always, I hope to see you all on my next video. Bye bye.